Hi guys, welcome to Just Stop Marketing. My name is Reza and today we are going to continue the third part of One Page Marketing Plan by Alan D. The first session we talked about the differences between tactics and strategies and the second part we talked about the mass marketing and direct marketing or direct response marketing and we got to this point that the best strategy for the best marketing for a small business or medium-sized businesses is direct response marketing so today we want to do the first part of one page marketing plan actually today we want to find out what is our target customer which which part of the market we should focus or aim at okay let's get started last session we talked about direct marketing okay or direct response marketing today we want to go on to niche or target customer as you know uh, in marketing when you want to do that we should know who is our customer who is our audience and then we can go for the next part in one page marketing plan the first and, uh, and I, can, I can say one of the most important part is finding out who is our ideal customer to whom he want we want to offer our product or service okay we, we said that we cannot we cannot do as mass marketing we don't want to go for everyone we just want to focus like a sniper we want to focus on one part one uh, one part of the market that is better for us and last session we talked about the differences between mass marketing and uh, direct response marketing but today we want to go further to another two reasons that why finding or focusing uh, on one part of the market is better for us focusing on our niche first reason it helps us to strengthen our power for example let's say that uh, I am a photographer okay and I'm so good at it and I know different parts of the photography and all the skills for I, I don't know fashion commercial wedding family whatever okay different parts I know everything everything you need to I'm perfect at it okay but is it is it good idea to I go for all these parts and I uh, and I try to uh, to look and uh, focus on all people that they need different parts of photography or it's better that I offer myself as an specialist in one part of marketing or one part of the market okay as that photographer I choose one part for example wedding huh I go for wedding and when someone is looking for a photographer for a wedding he or she looks at me as a professional huh and the other photographers that they do all these things they cannot compete with me easily because I'm a specialist in my field and people look at me as a source of uh, as a source like someone like a master that, that he knows everything about this kind of photography okay then uh, some people say it's not good to just oh, we want to uh, give our product or our service to everyone no problem but first focus on one part be dominant in that part and then go for other parts okay not just at first go for everyone because you are not a big business you cannot cover all people it needs a lot of budget and it's not you know suitable for a startup or, a, or an entrepreneur they cannot do that huh because they, they should be so careful about how they do their marketing okay and then when you get the best in that field you you are the dominant you are you are dominant in that field and you are like uh, the big fish in that pond okay then go for the rest of this okay go try to get all the markets but first one part one uh, part of it and then another reason when when uh, the next point is that price is irrelevant why when you go to a specialist it's common for us that when we go to a specialist we don't care that much about my money price is irrelevant right now because he is a specialist so when we go to a specialist 
price is not that much a uh, sensitive issue for us you know we are not sensitive that much to that okay we can accept that higher prices easily because we look at the guy as an specialist so for example uh, i have heart problem and i go to a specialist doctor he charges me more or she charges me more yeah okay then we get to this point okay we find out we should we focus on one part of the market we choose one target customer okay but how how i can find as a business as a as a startup as an entrepreneur which part of the market is better for me or is the best or the ideal customer who is the ideal customer of me or my business okay this is the solution pvp index what does it mean the first p means personal fulfillment that means how much i enjoy some people they you look at them when they are working they are dying you know they don't like the job they just oh my god i want to finish that as soon as possible and go home no we don't want to do that we want to enjoy our job you know our job is not our job it's our fun huh so f enjoyment how much you enjoy we infer we talk about each factor and at the end we give each factor from one to ten is square okay we, we, we go to that part later on okay just right now try to understand the idea okay personal fulfillment and how much i enjoy the second part value to the market how much people are ready to pay for that some parts of the market for example as a journalist photographer uh newspaper magazines maybe they, they are not ready to pay me as a wedding huh? as a wedding as, as someone who is holding a wedding they pay more huh so the value to the market is different between these two parts of the photography uh industry i guess uh -huh, or job okay the next point is profitability profitability means after all expenses how much left how much money left after all deductions okay some 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 uh some parts are more some uh for example some uh, as we go back to our our topic the photographer some some photography has more profit uh, rather than the other ones okay right now we got what does it mean the first p v and p so pvp index right now we have the idea now we want to find our ideal uh, target customer so how we give from one to ten a score like this okay for example i choose wedding and uh, journalism huh photojournalism as a wedding for example how much i enjoy if i do uh, uh wedding for wedding uh people if I, if I do the photography for the wedding how much i enjoy five out of ten or if i do journalism nine because i enjoy more you know it's it's like kind of adventure you know for example okay and uh, about value to the market for example say seven here six and profitability how much i i have after all deduction and expense, expenses nine for wedding and three for journalism at the end we can add up all these numbers five plus seven plus nine we have 21 uh, total score and right here we have nine six three and total 18 right now we know which market is more uh, which part of the market is more attractive to us i know yeah wedding is better for me according to my uh, personal fulfillment according to value to the market and profitability so i choose this part because i it's more it's more attractive to me okay right now we know which part of the market is ideal for us now we want to find out to understand our ideal customer how 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 is it that huh we want to find out these people because we want to give the best service the best product to them we want to give the best thing to them we want to we want to do according to their expectations huh okay then we can choose like I think many people have watched Avatar, huh? The guy go inside someone else's body and look at the world from his or her perspective. For example, I can say, 
John is my customer, imaginary, okay, I put a name, John. And a picture is a good idea. You can put a picture, a name, and try to write down everything about it. Everything about this guy, everything. Habits, emotions, uh, I don't know, every day's uh, task. What, what does he do from the morning till the night? You can write down in detail everything. And in, for example, what kind of websites he goes or watch or see or what kind of books, magazines uh, he's interested in and all this stuff. For example, if one night he cannot sleep, what does he do? Everything about this guy, you know, helps you to understand, you know, his word and then you can go directly and give them the best service that they expect. So understanding our customer is really, really, really important. First, we choose which part is better for me, then for, our, for my business, then I try to understand them that at, uh, in the next level that I can, I can give them the best service ever, that they would be super satisfied with my business. And they don't leave me, stay with me, and to help me to improve my business. Okay. Like all the time, at the end of the video, I try to give you the gist of it. Okay, bear with me. So, we said direct marketing, huh? In direct marketing, we choose a niche. We choose our target customer. We don't do for everyone. Not mass marketing is not our job. So, then we said why strengthen? It, it helps us to strengthen our power to compete. And price is that much, is not that much relevant. It helps us, huh? Because we are a specialist in the market. We are a specialist in our field. So then we said, how we can do that? PVP, personal fulfillment, value to the market, and profitability. Don't forget, PVP index, yeah? And I explained how to do that. Numbers and total, and you know how to do that. And then to understand our customers, we can go to their mind and look at the world from their perspective and try to find out how they think, what they need, how they look at the world. And it helps us to guess and find out their needs. Yeah? And then in our, in our business, we can help them better to solve their problems. Don't forget, we do our business to solve problems. Yeah? We want to help people and then they help us to grow okay that's it the third part yeah till the next part take care of yourself have a good time bye bye